everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. Today's video is going to be my FPEA convention haul. So I have quite a bit. Um, I was not actually planning on buying anything. I didn't go with a list. I didn't plan on buying anything, but the convention might have got the best of me. And some things were marked down um, cheaper than what you would have found them like on suppliers websites. So I went ahead and got more than what I had planned to get, but that's okay. The first two things I'm going to show you are um, some freebies that a few of the booths were given away that happen to be like some amazing freebie things. So the first one is this I Love Homeschool um, cinch bag, which was from Homeschool Panda. So it's like a cinch backpack and I absolutely love the cute little logo on it. And then the other was this mini, um, it's not... It's not like a full beach ball, it's like the small ones, like the six inch I think maybe. Um, but it was a blow up inflatable globe from Alpha and Omega. This was like probably the most popular every kid had one. But I love the size of it. So it's like big enough that you can read it but small enough that it can actually be stored somewhere. So those are my two favorite freebies. I am going to start with um, some of the smaller things like the shops that I got only one or two things at, saving um, Miller pads and papers and rainbow resources for last because those were the two booths that I spent the most money at. So I picked up a, another jute chalkboard basket um, that looks like this from Organizer Logic because I love them and you can never have enough of them for homeschool organization and storage. And I love that you can change the thing out on the front of the chalkboard. Um, from the reading corner, which, by the way, if you haven't gone over there, you need to follow them because Karen is amazing. I got Emily the level eight um, word phrase flips for fluency. The level three, level three read and flip little books, again, for fluency. I got her the level three recipe kit. And now we will not do this um, like the standard, well, I mean, I guess it is the standard way. The reason I got this is we're actually going to do it for listening skills. So I'm gonna read the recipe and have her make it just from hearing me read it. Um, because we need to work on some listening skills. So that's what Karen's suggestion was for that. I also grabbed the character stories from the reading corner. And I got her a second grade workbook. <clears throat> All right, now this I don't actually have here yet because we haven't gotten the first box, but I signed up for Beaker's Science, which was a science subscription box. And um, what I loved most about it is the subscription has like a video. So the woman does the subscription, does the science experiments with your child via video. So she does like the whole experiments, explaining, giving the reason behind it. And she was at the convention doing experiments with the kids and Emily absolutely fell in love with her and her personality. So of course we signed up. I grabbed Wanted a Superhero to Save the World by Brian Davis. Um, it is a going to be a read aloud about a little boy who wishes for superpowers but his sister gets the superpowers instead so he was at the convention he actually signed it for us as well um, he was telling Emily about the book and she had to have it and then I don't have it but Emily got a ukulele she went to this music booth she visited this music booth every day the whole time we were at the convention and she would not leave the convention without this ukulele and then when we bought it for her on the last day she sat in our booth um, or the booth that we were there to help and serenaded everybody with her music and her songs so while i don't have the ukulele to show you i do have um, the learn to play series so we signed her up for the learn to play ukulele lessons which was the booth that we bought the ukulele itself from all right we are down to the miller's pads and papers stack so this would be um everything that i got from them to start with i got some dice so i got two math dice one is multiplication and division and the other is the addition and subtraction and then i got two um silvery glittered 10-sided dice and two gold glitter 
12 sided dice just so we could have some variation instead of a worksheet to practicing um, math facts we could just roll the dice and answer it you know out loud i also got emily two of the passports to reading um, she asked for a passport and i thought these were super cute you um, put your favorite book and all your information in the front and then each spread you have like the book title the author um, the pages read the date and then you can you know kind of draw a picture or write a summary here so I thought that would be fun for our summer reading and then I grabbed her three of these little books they're like the um, five and a half by I guess seven size and they have the primary lines with spot to draw up top and then the back has a little square where you can put a picture and write about the author so I thought that would be fun for her to be able to make a few of her own little books. Then I also grabbed the um, world pad. So this is like a pad of paper, but it's all the world. So we're going to start out just by her coloring each continent a different color and each of the five oceans a different color, just so I know she can distinguish, you know, what is what, and then we'll move on to labeling them. And then I also picked up the United States one. Um, I'm not sure that we'll get to this this year, but I just wanted her to be familiar with it and they were very, very affordable at their booth. Okay, I actually bought six of these types of games, so I'm going to open um, one to show you what the game is like and then just show you the other games. So I bought a lot of the brain boxes. This is art, so the way it works is you have these cards. And you have, I believe it's 10 or 30 seconds, I'm not sure. You have however long the sand timer is um, to just study the front of the card. To read it, look at it, study it, memorize as much as you can memorize about it. And then you have a dice to roll that has numbers on it. And you have to try to answer the corresponding question to that number on the back. So it is really, really great for brain training. And it just so happens that they come in a lot of different um, themes. So I have the art, I have math, I have science and nature, all around the USA, inventions, and U.S. presidents. All right, so that is all of the Miller's pads and papers. Next is my Rainbow Resources stack, which is my largest stack. I'm gonna apologize in advance because, yeah, largest stack. <laughs> um, I brought the Life of Fred Jelly Beans book. We somehow have the entire elementary um, series except Jelly Beans. So we had A through was it I and we were missing J. So I just went ahead and picked this up so that we would have the whole series and we never had to slow down or stop. We are books away from being ready for J, but I just wanted to have the complete set. Then I also picked up four of the Christian Liberty Nature Reader. Now we have K and one, so I picked up book two, book three, book four and book five. And the reason I got all of them is because the ones we have just have like pencil drawings and these editions had color images in them. And so I wanted to make sure that I have the colorful image set. <clears throat> I also grabbed the Explode the Code. So I went ahead and picked up all of the ones that we needed so she didn't have to wait on me anymore like to buy them. So we have Explode the Code 4, Explode the Code 5, Explode the Code 6, Explode the Code 7, and Explode the Code 8. And then to the games of Rainbow Resources, which is of course my favorite, favorite part. Not that we even needed any more games, but I bought some more anyway. I picked up Payday. I picked up all of the Timeline Tents. We have the Timeline Classic the Timeline Inventions, and the Timeline Events. I picked up the Whale Catch and Fish, which is like an addition and subtraction game, and then the Whale Piggy Bank. 
Now, when I bought this, I thought it was going to have a little bit more to do with money, but it looks like it's more just um, counting by fives and tens. It's not really actual money, but either way, it's still skip counting in addition, so I'm good with that. I grabbed the um, Canoodle Gravity game. We love the original Canoodle, and this Canoodle Gravity has the option to be a single-player game or a two-player challenge game, and so I love the fact that you could go either way with it, so I had to have it. And then I grabbed the three in the tree. So we have um, a game similar to this called Fickle Fish. And this looks like a very similar game just with the birds. And we love our birds. So I grabbed that game. And then the last thing I grabbed was just a few Professor Noggins. So this now completes the collection. We now own every Professor Noggin except the ones that are out of print. So I grabbed... Medieval Times, Wonders of the World, Ancient Civilizations, Civil War, Explorers, Earth Science, and American Revolution. All right, that's it. That's everything I got at the FPA convention. Let me know if you were there and what you got at your convention hall.